There go all the teenagers that were at Cinder Bonds with us. They're on their way back to Calcutta also. And it's Saturday, which means market day in Gosaba. So the river is filled with people, the Bengalis heading to Sundarbans for Saturday, one day trips, two day trips. Coming and going from the market. Let's talk about Sundarban. If you want a relaxing boat ride, come up here for a couple days and peace, tranquility, and a chance to be in the world's largest mangrove forest, then it's a go. Also, the food is incredibly But If your focus is to go see a tiger, you want to go into one of the game reserves where they're ready to take you. The rangers are on their spotting, where they take you by four-wheel drive, etc. That is your only chance. The only time you ever see a tiger here is if perhaps it's on a mud flat, which is in the hundreds of thousands of acres, to see 200 and some tigers is very remote, or if it's swimming across the river from island to island. The last tiger was spotted here seven weeks ago, so think about it before you pay your money and come. You're not allowed to go inside the narrow canals because it's too dangerous, so you have to, the boat has to stay out on the main canals, which is like looking for a needle in the haystack. We did see deer, monkeys, one croc, one saltwater croc, which was the highlight of the three days here, along with, as I said, the food. Some of the best food we've had in India the entire time. And the staff and the naturalists couldn't be nicer. The Calcutta School Groups comes here yearly, and the school teacher, one of the teachers said she's been here six times. Three days each time and has never seen a tiger. So that does tell you something. Mooring in Sonakali, our Sundarbans exploration, looking for tigers, is over. Time to disembark, head back to Calcutta, and all of our India trip is almost over. It ends tomorrow.